What's up, everyone? It's Dark Viper, and I am in a different game. I'm not in Skyblocks right now. I am in my restaurant. It is a game by Big Games. If you if you remember uh, Pet Simulator and Pet Simulator 2 and Big Paintball, I'm actually, so I've been grinding this game for a bit. I'm usually, when I'm not playing Skyblocks, I'm actually playing this game, grinding to catch up with a lot of people. I was really, really behind for a while, so I'm actually pretty close to maxed out. I've maxed out all of my recipes. I've maxed out my staff, and I've got eight floors. I've been holding off on getting the ninth floor floor because what I really wanted to do is I really, really, really wanted to get the shrine. So we're going to go get the shrine and then we're going to go and put it in our shop. Actually, before we do, I want to show you what my current shop looks like. So this is what it looks like currently. So if you look, I've got some tip jars here. And yeah, those are ropes. Ignore that. Okay, that's rope. So here's where my shrine is going to go. I've got a spot already designated for it. And I try to go for a little bit more of a high-end kind of looking restaurant. So when you first come into this floor, this is more of like a, almost like an apple bar. So you know, you know like Apple has like their a Apple stores and stuff. And it has that little bit of look, you, you know, they, they should have like a little iPads here and their coffee or something. It's a little cafe. See, this person looks like they're on their iPad, but it's a menu. So I'm going to show you the second floor here. So the second floor is actually another gallery. So this is where my VIPs eat. So they got to have their own dedicated floor. And they, they just, you know, they like looking at a million gems. I don't know why, but it's just a thing that they do. And then they eat lobster all day. And they eat exactly at the same momentum as each other. So it's like they've choreographed this and practice eating at the same way and same time. It's real freaky. I don't, I don't think I would ever hang out with these dudes. I, I'm pretty sure they don't have, they only have each other, okay? I don't think they have any other friends. But, and then I got my statue here. I got my statue. That's me. That's me. It, look, it does not look like me. It kind of does, but doesn't because where's my red eyes and stuff? And then we're going to come out here. We're going to go to the third floor. And this is my 50s diner. So my 50s diner has a music box and I got a bunch of gum because there's different flavors and different types. So these are like sour right here. And these right here are kind of like just bad and old. And then there's like pastries in here. And I don't know why that, there's a hot dog in here, but oh, I see pizza and stuff. So over here's the sweets and here's like the saltier stuff it looks like anytime you place these they put different things in them though look at like there's ice cream cookie and and sushi and i don't think i would eat ice cream that's been shared in the same freezer as the sushi but it actually looks really really cool i actually love these these are really cool and then we got the money tree over here because we got to have money and unfortunately i've i've heard notices that customers have actually been stealing money from this tree and that's not cool because they've been paying for their food using my tree it's really confusing me oh this guy's enjoying his pretzel it looks looks pretty good right now. Mm, what's that? That's a mushroom. I do not like mushrooms. That is nasty. I do not like mushrooms. No. Yuck. What's this person eating? Chocolate? Uh, they're eating chocolate. Okay. I, I approve of that for lunch. All right. We're going to go up to the next floor. And this is just chaos. This is my storage, but people like somehow they get into this floor and they eat here. But this is my, this is my overflow for my furniture storage. And I don't, I tell them this is not a floor to eat at, but they just continue to eat here. And you look at even the, I don't know how they're walking through tables, but they found a way to do this. And I, I swear they're hacking. I swear. Okay, let's go to the next floor. So this is another storage. This storage is actually, I'm going to, I'm going to change this into probably my office so that I could have like a dedicated staff, like a dedicated kitchen. And then we're going to have like the DV offices and cubicles over here. So you can have like a computer with a really good view. Like look at my view. This is going to be my corner office right here. So I can have a view and I can just watch people like out there. And I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think zombies office is going to be over here. I think he wants it over here. It's going to be, it's going to be like, it's going to be like this. This is it right here. This is dead. It's gonna be right here, but it, we need green. We need green seats for him. All right, then we're gonna go to the sixth floor, and the sixth floor is a lot like what we just went to, so it's just like it. And I have a lot of expansion here, and then the seventh floor, and then lastly the eighth floor. The eighth floor is my staff room, so I've I decided to consolidate my entire kitchen in one floor. Not everyone would agree with this approach, but I like it. It just keeps all the chefs like in the same spot, and that way all the orders are being you know in the same spot as well, so you can see how fast. It seems like it's pretty efficient. I haven't had any issues with this so, but these guys just they're flying look at look how fast this goes and the nice thing is i could just continue to expand here so i'm going to basically put my stoves straight across here and then i'm going to i'm basically tearing it so that they go to the the slower stoves further away it seems like they prefer the things that are closer to them um so i try to keep all the higher tech stuff up close to them and then we got the dishwashers over here i don't know why this guy's dude you know we have better sinks right i know you just want to take your time where are you going i'm talking to you you know you want to just take your time over there at the really really slow sink but that's not how i that's not what i pay you for dude you got next time use the high-tech stuff we spent a lot of money where'd he go okay whatever i'm gonna go down to the first floor and we're gonna go get our shrine i want to go get this shrine i can't wait let's go to the shop so the top dog here is x butterflies anyone know who x butterflies is i'd like to meet them captain chili i don't know captain chili sounds he sounds like a hothead to me oh i said that sd mittens oh i know sd mittens she's a big grinder she grinds. she tries to she she basically grinds for every leaderboard i've ever seen it's pretty cool and we got yo ho ya yo ya yo ya 
Yaha. Hoi. Yaha. I don't know. Matt says kaboom. Since 2005, he needs something else to say in 2020. And then Art Blancs. Yeah, I don't know that. Uh, it sounds very fancy. Jimmy the Panda. Ooh, we got a panda in here. Abotac. Okay. And Man Baby. Hey, no one should ever be named Man Baby. I'm sorry, but that's not a good name. I'm sorry. You should not be calling yourself a Man Baby. Okay, so we're going to go over here and we're going to go buy our shrine. Let's buy this. This is mine. It's mine. It's mine. Let me have it. Where'd it go? Oh, there might. Wait, it's a mine. It's it. Do I have it? Do I have it? Do I have it? There it is. I've got the shrine. Let's go. Let's go place our shrine. Let's go place it. By the way, it looks like I have my friend Dojery here. He's in my same server. I actually joined them on a public on accident. I totally didn't do that on purpose, but you definitely should follow Dojery. His uh, channel is going to be linked in the description so you can check him out. He's actually doing a lot of my restaurant videos. So if you want to see a lot of my restaurant content, definitely give him a sub because he's a cool dude. He's one of my favorite YouTubers and streamers. We're placing our shrine. Wow. I made it too big. I made this area too big. I actually kind of like that though. I kind of like it. Should we rotate it this way or this way or the, which way should we put it? I wonder which way we should put it. <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. Okay, so I put it in here. Okay, where's my Dominus guest? Do I have to click it? Oh, I clicked it. Where's he at? Oh my God. What? It's shaking. What is, what the? Oh my gosh. Did you see the earthquake? Dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it says I've activated this shrine. I've, wait, oh, there he is. There he is, dude. There he is. Look, look, look. I'm getting raided. I'm getting raided by ghosts. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. I like your clothes. Can I have them? Dude, you have some really expensive items. Where, what floor are you gonna go into? Can I have can I have lunch with you? Which floor are you going to? Where are you going? Oh, all the VIPs are like, I'm out, I'm out. This guy's kind of spooky. I don't want any trouble. Where are you sitting, Dominus? Where are you gonna sit, dude? Where, don't tell me you went to my storage. If you went to my storage, I'm gonna be really upset with you. Where are you? You better not have gone to my storage. If you sit in the storage area, I'm kicking you out of my restaurant, dude. You sat in the storage, Dominus. You legit. This is storage, dude. I have better seating for you. Oh, whatever. So anyway, I was just wondering, how's your day? How's your day going? You had French fries already? Dude, why are you eating a cookie? I have better, you choose, out of all the things that I can make for you, cook. you want the cookie. And why are you using a fork and a knife for a cookie, bro? Just pop that thing. Dude, do I have to show you how to eat a cookie? This is horrible. This is all about a cookie. This entire shrine was about a cookie. This entire shrine was about this cookie. Dude, this guy's having the same cookie you are. How is this so special? How is this a cookie so special enough to summon you from a shrine? I'm curious. Wait, why are you giving me that face? Why are you giving me that? What was that? This is kind of dramatic over a cookie. <laughs> you left crumbs everywhere too. You left crumbs everywhere, bro. Oh, I can't even, no, they glitched me. They glitched me. I want to see him out. Hey, I'm kicking you out of my restaurant. Next time, order a cookie from Doge. Order your cookie next time from Dojery. I, yeah, yeah, I showed him. All right, so that was a $10 million visit for a cookie. Okay, well, let's go see what else we can spend soon. My gosh, that was an expensive cookie, let me tell you. Should we buy another one? Do I make more money now from that? I don't think, I don't know how much I got from that. Well, let's see, okay. So I've gotten three of these visits so far. And restaurant visitors, I don't know why I have zero vi restaurant visitors though. Are you telling me I've had zero restaurant visitors? That makes no sense, why? So I'm curious if that's just something that's coming. Customers served 116,000, VIP served, celebrity served 110, cash earnings, so I've earned 19 million so far. I was bought 3,400. And so what I'm gonna save now is for my ninth floor. Gotta save for that ninth floor. Let's see, I've served, I'm coming up on that one. Cool, so my next step here, I'm saving six mil, because I think the next floor is six million, so let's go check, let's go check. Is it six million? Yep, so it's six million, and that is the last floor. That's definitely gonna help us overnight, so typically what I do is I like to overnight this and get the most money, and after I get that final floor, here's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna basically start buying these. These give you 10% chance to attract a VIP customer with any connected chairs, and what else? So I'm thinking about, I'm probably gonna create a tiki room, so I'll get a bunch of these pretty soon, and then I'm gonna go and and I think maybe something like these.
these, or actually this is, these are really good for tiki rooms. Bamboo is really good for tiki rooms. I wish this was bigger though, cause that'd actually be a way better bamboo room. I would do a blue room. I'm thinking about maybe just an ocean room. So everything's blue in there. So it'd be like 100% blue carpet. And then what we could do is we could just put in like these everywhere because seafood and the ocean. Oh, I leveled up. Yes, I leveled up. What level am I? I am, I'm level 81 now. Yeah, dude, level 81. And then I really like the jukebox. I think we need more stuff like the jukebox. You know what we need is like a big screen or some uh, wall TVs. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like that was kind of, that was it. My life's purpose is complete. I was able to get the shrine and I fed the Dominus a cookie. It was a, I, I, I need to try that cookie. Hey, I need to go try a cookie. 14 hours. So wait, that's not 15 minutes. That's actually, so I can't summon him again for another 15 hours. So it's a 15 hour respawn, okay. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you're new. And if you'd like to see more of my restaurant videos, definitely let me know in the comments if you enjoy it, if you're playing it. I'd love to know what your level is, how many floors you have. And I'd love to see some of your screenshots in our Discord. You can join our Discord in the link in the description. And I will see y'all next time. Take it easy.